Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amza Victoria Yano, the CEO of Victor Designs International. Today, I'd like to teach us on how to make uh, two different bags. The first one is a shoulder bag, while the second one is a double side arm bag. Before I proceed to the materials needed in making those bags, if you join us for the first time, you're welcome. We we'll appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube to my YouTube channel. And then don't only subscribe, kindly click on the notification bell so that you can be getting updates on our new videos. Thank you. The materials you need in making your shoulder bag, you need your puncher, you need your straight scissors, you need your magnet, you need your pin. You need your leather. This is also a double face leather. You need your leather. You need your board. You need your pattern. You need your pencil. You need your hammer. You need your D ring. And you need your thread. Now we we'll move to the measurement. Now we we'll move to the measurement. On your carry board, you measure 8 by 9 inches. 8 by 9 inches. You, you can place a round bowl on it and cut the shape out. You can also fold it into two and then shape it out. So it depends on how you want it. And then for the flap, you measure... 7.5 by 6.5 inches you do the same you place a round bowl on it and cut it out then for the to now get your side to get your side you measure the main body you measure it around so that is 22.5 inches. Then you add 4 inches to it. You add 4 inches. That will be 26.5 inches. For the side, you measure 26.5 inches. So this is it. 26.5 inches. So you shape it out also. You shape it out. And therefore, the before the side, you measure from this to this place. That's around. So that will be twenty-two by one inches. Twenty-two point five by one inches. You measure two of it out. Twenty-two point five by one inch you measure two of it this is the side 26.5 by the side is 26.5 by three inches 26.5 by three inches so for the undo the undo will be short for the undo you measure two inches by you measure two inches by 29 inches two inches by 29 inches so you measure two inches by 29 inches for the undo now for the body you place your pattern on your leather and cut it out you need to cut two out for the this the front and this the back for the flap, 
you place your pattern on it and cut it out now we'll move to the sewing so now we'll move to the sewing of the shoulder bag so the first thing to do now we show the flap So before sewing the flap, we'll fix our snap, that's the magnet. You can fix lock, you can use lock, but I'm using magnet. You can also use USA pin. So now, I'll look for my middle. Okay, this is the middle. Three inches. Three inches. So I'll punch. To cover this, you can cut a round leather and apply super glue to cover it. But I'm sewing, so I'm sewing on it. So I'll start my glue.
so I'll trim it So now we saw the flap on the body. So what I will do is that I'll measure Two inches I'll mark it I measure two inches on this side also I'll mark it So now the distance this is one point two, this is also one point two. So I'll just straight sew it on a straight line. I'll apply my okay. I'll apply hoid. is it
So the next thing to do now is to sew this side. The first thing that we do is that uh, that we do now is that I will sew the this is one inches by twenty two and you have that's the first part to sew. So now I will sew the one inches by twenty two inches with the side. That was the first thing to do. Can you see? Okay. Can you see? Do I place it? Okay. now this is how it will be so I will sew the other side also
now the next thing to do the three by 26 and a half inches that's the side i'll look for the middle of it there's it so i'll look for the middle on the both side i'll notch it not too much you can take your pencil and mark it you can notch it you can also mark it okay so that's my making for this i'll fold it together also and this is what i'm doing and look for the middle of it for accurate sewing Is it? I'll notch it on this one. I'll also look for the middle. So now, I'll start the sewing from the middle. I'm using the blue part. Okay, so what I'm doing, this is the middle, and this is the middle of this one also. Okay, I'll now sew it. So the other side also.
this is it now we're sewing the this is the back so we're sewing the front can you see it it's already forming right yeah it's already forming okay let's do the other part sewing middle so middle don't forget that so that will make you to get the accurate sewing apply your oil thing to do is to sew the other side so we're sewing the You don't need to rush it, that's why it's by me too. is it so okay so now the next thing to do is that we'll fix the undo we'll fix the undo and then we also fix the D ring. For the D ring, you measure. For the D ring, you measure two point three inches by one point one inches. Two point three inches by one point one inches. So you cut two out. So this is it. I'm using it for during so we'll move to fixing the accessories the logo if we're using logo then the during before we move to that one we need to sew the long the undo so this is the undo so we're sewing the undo
Okay, we are done with the sewing. We move to fixing the handle and the fixing the ring. Thank you.